video. Yeah, so what's the point? So we're gonna put we're gonna make ozone. We also got the valve right here. It's not perfected yet. It's got a lot of a lot of flaws in it. But it'll do just for some testing, just for fun here real quick. Now we got our turbine right here. If you look at the inside there. Look at the inside there. We're about to prove the vacuum here. We're gonna show that that flame will actually suck in into indicating a vacuum here. And it'll actually suck in here as well. So we just want to show that effect right here. And here we go. Okay, so we got our flame right here. See how it sucks in the flame? Well, oh, it went out. All right, right here. All right, go ahead and, so our intake is down here. This is what's going into the turbine. So this house being sucked in. And I also want to show up here. Look, at, look down in the turbine. No, down lower. Down there, yeah. Turn up the flames. And it's making ozone right now. It makes ozone. You can smell it. Yeah, you can smell it. It's pretty strong. It actually works at extremely low RPM though. If you turn the RPM down, and we use a little flame. Show the show the effect. Keep recording. Still is. It actually makes quite a bit of ozone, right? Just by doing this right here. It sucks in from all directions. So there's a vacuum in there. Even up here sucks in. Yeah, I can smell the ozone. That when when the flame turns blue is when it makes the most ozone. And that the blue flame indicates that it's burning more pure. It's getting stronger. Oh yeah, it's getting stronger. A lot stronger. So you gotta find the right speed for the right amount of gas to make a certain amount of ozone. I wish I could show you with a gas detector. <laughs> 